a pleasant good morning to all those that have joined us this morning, whether it be via Facebook or those that are in person with us this morning in the sanctuary. We are the New Creation Ministries, and this morning I want to welcome each and every one of you that is here with us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. 
worship team who will lead us into song service this morning.
Oh, praise the Lord. You know, this morning, even before I hand you over to our bishop, I would like to take this opportunity to say a very special happy birthday to Sister Trisha. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. 
and, the, and my God, what other better occasion you will have, my God, that you can um, use or take the opportunity, praise the name of the Lord, to talk about Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And praise the name of the Lord. We give God praise and thanks again with Sister Tricia and the and Sister Nazarene and family, praise the name of the Lord. We give God praise and thanks of you. You know, the lives of, of, of God's people, praise the name of the Lord, the lives of, of God's people are to be characterized by the offering of thanks given to God always. Praise the name of the Lord. Our life must be characterized, hallelujah. And I said characterized, praise the name of the Lord. It must be characterized by the offering of thanks given to God always. Always for everything. Can someone say everything? everything. Always for everything and in all circumstances. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Our life must always hardly be characterized by that. Whether my God, I am saying always, you know, sometimes we choose to give God thanks, my God, when we believe that it is, it is time to give Him thanks. But I'm saying here, praise the name of the Lord, and even as the scripture teaches us, that we ought to give thanks unto Him for everything. And we ought to give thanks to Him always. And we ought to give thanks to Him in every circumstances. Hallelujah. You know, it is Paul in, in Ephesians chapter 5. And remember, we are going to it today this morning. I want to talk to you a little bit about Thanksgiving. Paul in Ephesians chapter in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19 and 20, Paul says, Speaking to yourself in psalms and in hymns and in spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Giving what? Yeah. Giving thanks how many times? Always, Always for how many things? For all things unto God and the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can someone now praise the Lord? So it's given in thanks always. It is given in thanks in every situation, every circumstances. You know, Paul said in Philippians 4 and verse 6, Paul said in Philippians 4 and verse 6, he said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, in everything by what? Prayer and what? Supplication with what? Thanksgiving. Let your request be made known. Let your request be made known unto the Lord. Can someone say praise the Lord? And you know I love that. Hallelujah. Paul said, be careful for nothing. He said, but in everything, in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto the Lord. The Lord, hallelujah. Also in the praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can someone shout praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Also, hallelujah, in, in Thessalonians, praise the name of the Lord. That is Thessalonians, hallelujah. Thessalonians chapter 5 and verses 18. Paul said that in 1 Thessalonians, hallelujah, 1 Thessalonians to the 5 and verse 18, Paul said it, in everything do what? In everything. Can someone say in everything? In everything. It means don't matter what is the circumstances. He said in everything do what? Give thanks for this is the what? Will of God in Christ concerning you, hallelujah, my God, that is First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 8, and I know I'm running a bit fast, but I'm going to praise the name of the Lord, help me to have it because we are still in the teaching church, all I might be running a little fast this morning. Can someone try to praise the Lord? So in everything, I give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ concerning us. Can someone try to praise the Lord? And my God, this is what Trisha, hallelujah, and this is what praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. This is what Sister Nazarene and the family is doing this morning. Hallelujah, my God. Knowing the importance of giving God thanks in everything. 
Hallelujah. They are to give times, or we are mm -hmm. to give times mm -hmm. for blessing spiritual and the blessing physical. Can some of us have praise the Lord? So we have, my God, blessing that we receive spiritual, and we have blessing that we receive physical, and we ought to give God thanks. You know, Paul said in Colossians, in Colossians chapter 1 and verses 12, Paul said that in Colossians, he said, giving thanks unto who? Colossians chapter 1 and verses 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us what? Meet to be partakers of, of the what? Of the inheritance of the same in life. Can some of us have praise the Lord? So my God, God, hallelujah. He blesses us spiritually and he blesses us physically. But my God, Paul is saying here, we ought to give him thanks. Can some of us have praise the Lord? Can some of us have praise the Lord? You know, first Timothy chapter 4 and verses 3 and 4, that is first Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4, Paul said here, my God, forbidding to, to marry and commanding to abstain from meat, which God had created to be received. He said to be received with, 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 with what? With thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing be refused if it be re received with what? With thanksgiving. Can someone say thanksgiving? So what Paul is saying here that anything that you will eat, anything that you will partake of with thanksgiving, hallelujah, it will be blessed of God. Can someone say praise God? And somebody, I want you to understand, my God, I am not, but come on somebody, I'm not I, I'm against anyone, I'm not against anyone for not eating pork, I'm not against anyone for not eating, my God, different type of seafood, there are some people who don't partake of, of shrimp, there are some people who don't eat pork, I'm not against you, but I want you to understand, my God, I eat all these things with thanksgiving, hallelujah, because I know, come on somebody, hallelujah, that my God, all these physical blessings, my God, it comes from God, hallelujah, you know what Paul is saying, my God, some forbid you to get married, and some forbid you from eating meat, but Paul is saying that meat and getting married, and married, and all these things is from God, hallelujah. And Paul is saying hey, hallelujah, that my God, if we do it with thanksgiving, he said, and nothing be refused, come on somebody, look at that, he said, nothing shall be refused if it, if, if, if it be received or with what? With thanksgiving and meat. I want you to understand. You may refuse it. Come on somebody. Because you there are some people that just kind of my God digest it. Come on somebody. But I want you to understand what, what Paul is saying is those of you my God even those who are using it my God if you are using it you must know or you must always understand it. Hallelujah. That you are receiving it from God and giving God time for it. Hallelujah. 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 So my God, so all spiritual and physical blessing, we must give God thanks for in our own lives and in the lives of others. I said in our own lives and in the lives of others. So much to give God praise for. When you rise up in the morning and you see the sun shining, it is good enough to give God praise. Amen. Amen. When my God, you go to work and you reach back home, it is good enough to give God praise. Hallelujah. So many did not make it, my God, to COVID-19. So many, my God, did not live to tell the story. But you are alive and you are well. Hallelujah. My God, it is enough to give God praise. But not only giving God praise for you and what the Lord is doing in your life, a lot of times, yes, my God, we rise up and we give God praise for what God has done in our lives. But do you give God praise for what he's doing in others' life? Do you give God praise for what he's doing in, your, in my God, not only in your children's life, not only in your wife's life, not only in your husband's life? What about your co-workers? What about, my God, what about your neighbors? Hallelujah. 
My God, we ought to give God praise and thanks not only for what God is doing for us, but also what God is doing for others. Amen. Amen. You know, in the book of Acts chapter, chapter 28, that is Acts chapter 28 and verses 15, Acts chapter 28 and verses 15, praise the name of the Lord. The Bible reads there, and from thence, when the brethren heard of us, and from thence, when the brethren heard of us, they came to meet us as far as a pie forum, and the, the tree, and the tree, and the tree turbans, whom, whom, when Paul saw, when Paul saw, he did what? He thanked God and he took what? Courage. Courage. So you are seeing here, Paul is giving thanks not for himself, but Paul is giving thanks for others. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Also in, 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 in Thessalonians, that is 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 3, the Bible reads here in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 3, we are bound to do what? 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 2. We are bound to do what? To thank God how many times? Always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that uh, your faith, your faith growing how? Exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you, all a war, all towards each other, are bounded. Can somebody say, praise the Lord? So what you're seeing here, Paul is given thanks. And Paul is given thanks to God because the faith of other brethren is growing. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Paul is given thanks to God because other brethren are learning how to give charity. Can someone say praise the Lord? Can someone say praise the Lord? So it is not just giving thanks for ourselves, but it's also giving thanks for others. Can someone say praise the Lord? Can someone say praise the Lord? Thanksgiving, hallelujah, is also a part of our praise. Can someone say praise? Pray, it is thanksgiving, it is a part of our praise. Thanksgiving, it is a part of our prayer. Thanksgiving, it is a part of our worship. Can someone say praise the Lord? Can someone say praise the Lord? So in our worship, we are given thanks. Yes, in our prayer, we are given thanks. Yes, yes. In our praise, we are given thanks. Can yes. someone say praise the Lord? Praise you know, I heard that song this morning. Come and let us worship and bow down. Yes, I want you to know my God. Worshiping and bow down before God, it is giving thanks to yes, God. Amen. Yes, yes. It's also showing gratitude to God. And when you show gratitude to God, or you show gratitude to anyone, that person will always be a blessing to you, so that they, by God, so that you can show more gratitude. Hallelujah. 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 And this is how God operates. You know, I heard that song, let us worship and bow down. And as I heard that song, let us worship and bow down. My God, it's David who said that. Come and let us, David, and come on, just, just turn it out of me. It, it, it is in Psalms 1, it is in Psalms 95, verses 1 to 7. My God, Psalm 95, verses 1 to 7. And, and hear what David is saying here in, 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 in Psalms 95, verses 1 to 7. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh my God. And David is saying, he said, Oh, come and let us do what? Come on, Psalm 95, verses 1 to 7. Praise the name of the Lord. David said, Oh, come, let us do what? Sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with what? Thanksgiving. And make a what? Joyful noise unto him with what? Psalms. He said, For the Lord is a great God and a great what? King above all gods. In his hands are the sheep of are, are the deep. In his hands are the deep places of the the, the strength of the hill is in his also. The strength of the hill is in his or the strength of the hills is in his also. The sea is his and he made it. Hallelujah. And his hands form the dry land. He said, oh, come, let us do what? Worship 
about to what? Bow down. Let us do what? Kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. For He is our God. And we are the people of His pastors and the sheep of His hand. He said today, if He will hear His voice, if you will hear His voice, hallelujah, I can come and let us bow down. Come and let us worship. Come and let us give thanks unto the Lord. Can someone shout praise the Lord? Can someone shout praise the Lord? My God, oh, what a wonderful sound. Oh, what a wonderful sound. Hallelujah. It is a sound of worship. It is a sound of praise. It is a sign of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Can someone shout praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. David also in Psalms 116 and verse 7. David said there in Psalms 116 and verse 7. He said, I will offer to thee the sacrifice of what? Psalms 116 and verse 17. Praise the Lord. Sorry for that. Verse 17. Hallelujah. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of what? Thanksgiving. And I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord. Colossians 4 and verses 2. Paul said in Colossians 4 and verses 2. He said continue in what? Praise the name of the Lord. Continue in what? Prayer. And watch in the same with what? So somebody, I want you to know, prayer and thanksgiving is incorporated together here. Amen. 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 Praise and thanksgiving is incorporated together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer and thanks, worship, hallelujah, and thanksgiving is incorporated. Can someone shout praise the Lord? Can someone shout praise the Lord? Can someone shout hallelujah? There is no comments about it. My God, Sister Trisha have decided that I am going to, I am going to do something, praise the name of the Lord, as small as it might be, praise the name of the Lord. My God, it will, it will, my God, it will go a great way because it is, a, my God, it is giving God time. Say that. Sister Nazarene have decided that, my God, it is time that the family, my family comes together. And we want to do something. We're going to call, praise the name of the Lord, the brethren. And we're going to bring the brethren together. And the, my God, and we're going to share of what God has given to us. Hallelujah. With the brethren. And we will give God thanks together. Hallelujah. And I want you to know, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh yes, I said that thanksgiving is a part of praise. It is a part of prayer. It is a part of worship. If you look at Romans, sorry, Revelation chapter 7 and verse 12. Praise the Lord. That's Revelation chapter 7 and verse 12. The Bible reads that saying amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and what? Thanksgiving and what? And honor and what? And power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? So we are seeing here, hallelujah. I said praise and prayer and worship. My God, as they go together with thanksgiving. Can someone say praise the Lord? So when you worship, you don't just worship. You don't just, my God. You don't just, my God, bow your heads and and call on the Lord and, and cry out to God. I want you to understand when you are worshiping, my God, you are bowing down and saying thank you, Lord. You are saying, God, you've been so good. Lord, you have brought me from a mighty long way. Lord, look what you have done in my life. Lord, hallelujah, you are a wonderful God. Lord, I bless your name. I bless your name. Your name is so great on the earth. Hallelujah. You are worshiping. Come on tonight. You are giving praise. When you are giving praise, it is my God. It is telling someone, my God, how good, my God, they are. And what good they have done. And how much you appreciate what they have done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even when you pray, come on tonight. Even when you pray, you all 
always my God pray with thanksgiving. You don't just go asking, asking, asking. I want you to understand that I am giving to you and I'm blessing you. And every time you come to me, you come to me just to ask me for more. How will you feel if you if you is that person that is on the giving side? If you are on the giving side, you will feel as though, my God, this person is taking me for granted. But I want you to understand when that person comes to you, and that person say, I'm grateful for what you have done for me. I'm thankful for where you have brought me. You have been so good to me. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your kindness. I want you to understand, you will want to be more kind. You will want to love even more. Hallelujah. And my God, sometimes that individual don't even have to ask for more. All that he or she has to do is to give thanks for what you're doing for them. And you will always be of service to them because, my God, they are thankful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't see and understand the importance of showing gratitude to God and giving thanks to God. Oh, our last scripture verse this morning, Revelation 11 and verses 17. Revelation 11 and verses 17. And the Bible reads there in Revelation 11 and verses 17. Saying we give, saying we give the thanks. And we are looking at thanksgiving as part of praise, part of our prayer, part of our worship. And in Revelation there, turn to say, say, we give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which at, which at, and was, and at to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power. Because thou hast taken to thee thy great power, and because thou reign. Can somebody shout praise the Lord? So the thanksgiving here, it is because of the might and the power and the reign of our God. Amen. Because I want you to know as long as he's reigning, as long as God is in control, everything is all right. As long as God is in control, Everything is fine. Amen. Somebody, I listen. Amen. So, the, my God, the saints were given praise, hallelujah, for his might and for his power and for his reign. Because I want you to understand they, they would have experienced the goodness of God even while they were here. Can someone say, praise the Lord? And even whilst we are here, and God is still reigning, and God, I'm saying, still reigning. God will always reign. Amen. Amen. You see, what we have, my God, what we have uh, that is working for us it is that the devil will never be able to defeat God. Yes. And because the devil will never be able to defeat God, it means our God will always reign. Amen. Amen. And because our God will always reign, we can rest the soul, hallelujah, of who holds tomorrow. Amen. Come on tonight. Hallelujah. We know who holds tomorrow, hallelujah. Oh yes, hallelujah. And my God, we have, we have, my God, that privilege now, even while the breath of life is in our body, even while we have breath in our body, to give him the praise. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. I want you to know the praises of thanksgiving. Yes. It takes you to another level. Yes. Amen. The devil don't like the decision that Sister Nazarene made today. The devil is not pleased of the decision that Trisha made today. Because the devil is aware that a child that will show gratitude to his parents is a child that will always be blessed. Amen. 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 I want you to know, hallelujah, even as the 
We out here, come on somebody, oh my God, I, don't, I just don't want to be left out. Sister Nazarene and Sister Trisha is not walking away with that blessing here alone today. I came by here to give thanks to them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I want some of that blessing also. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to walk away from here with that blessing, all of us today. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we will celebrate. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. This morning again, we thank God for each of you. And because of our program this morning, we are left to know the choice, but it cut off our Facebook friends very early. But we ask, we believe God, that you just continue to believe God with us. We can't, or we will not go through that part of the service online, but know that we are here, and we are praying for the families of the Trisha, the families of Sister Nazarene, Praise the name of the Lord that we uh, continue to invoke that blessings uh, that God uh, has the purpose or God has uh, already, praise the name of the Lord, promised to those who will give thanks. Amen. Amen. But we also invite you, our Facebook friends, uh, to continue to be in an attitude of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. 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 So God bless you. We love you. And you have a blessed or be blessed for the rest of the day. And not just for the rest of the day, forevermore. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. We love you.